So I want to start with an, with a, on a positive note. Uh, business as usual is dead. And this has a lot of implications. Business as usual means, for example, companies having control of their customers, controlling distribution like record labels, controlling distribution like movie companies, also banks having control of our money, not much we could do with that. Basically what's happening because of mobile internet, broadband, wireless, cheap devices, is that business as usual is over. When you're at the airport checking in, you can use a flight tracker app and you will know more about the, the flight that's departing than the woman at the gate. We're talking about empowerment, mind-boggling. So for a lot of companies, this is not a good thing, right? because companies are thinking, you know, this is cool for us as, as a consumer, but as a company, that's bad news. And worst of all, if you're in marketing, people will completely ignore you unless they like you. Wow, what kind of reality is that? <laughs> you know, this has been our personal reality for a long time, but now it's actually happening to advertisers. In other words, if people don't want to hear from you, you'll, you don't exist. And this is so true on mobile. on mobile. I mean, we're seeing this whole trend, you know, this is the papal inauguration in 2005, the upper image, you know, where people had a couple of mobile devices, but here in 2013, everybody has a mobile. Think about this five years into the future, you know, 50 popes later, just kidding, he'll be around for longer than that. Uh, in 2013, this, in 2018, nobody will have anything in their hands because guess what? It's just there. Scary thought. This device is a device called the Nest, a, a thermostat that connects your house electricity and water use, your appliances, utilities, to a mobile phone app and the internet and Facebook, if you so wish, to help you save energy. This amazing device basically monitors everything that you do at home, and then you can share with others, and there's calculations showing that this device would help people to save 40% of energy in their houses if everybody had it. Now there's discussions about mandating smart meters. You can sit in your car on the way home and change the air condition to the iPhone app. Now that is useful, not as useful as a twittering plant or a horse that talks to you through Twitter, you know, like other people have shown. Right? So think about this, I mean, smart technology could have the same effect on global warming than turning over to renewable energies. The same effect. So in other words, if we turn to renewable energy and we use smart technology to reduce consumption and make it more efficient, we can solve this global warming problem. 